Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP. Working on Project Crazy or Dead Horse, Project Dead Horse. I don't know why I keep trying to say Crazy Horse, but working on Project Dead Horse here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys on how a plastic gauge works because if you're gonna build a motor and you want it to last, the main thing is making sure you're gotten the same oil clearance all the way down here and nothing's too loose, nothing's too tight. Um, and that's what's going to make a key engine last a long time, no matter if you build it with cheap parts or really expensive parts. You're going to want to make sure you do that. So basically, we already have our lower bearing set in. Everything's lubed on the bottom. We're going to start in the center and work our way out. I'm just going to show you how to do one. So what we are going to do is you're going to order your plastic gauge. Each plastic gauge has a different type of... Let me see if I can clean this screen. I don't know if it's dirty. Um, a different way that it measures everything by inches or millimeter and each plastic gauge is going to go to a different thickness whenever you torque it down now on this motor right here it's a 4302 um, we're going to go we want to be in between two thousandths and three thousandths so we what we want to do is we want to squeeze it down and we don't want it to be bigger than the two thousandths and we don't want it to be smaller than the three thousandths or else we either have to tighten it or loosen it. On the older motors, if you tighten it, it's actually going to expand it. Loosen it, it's going to make your clearances even bigger. So, best way to do these um, is to take. Uh, let me see if I can do this. A pair of scissors, and you're going to want to just snip off the amount of plastic gauge that you need which is basically in between that that's all you need right there so you're going to open it up do, 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 do. you're going to set your plastic gauge right there like that you're going to set your bearing no lube on it on top of your plastic gauge gently don't try to don't beat it on there because then you're going to sit there and smash it and you're going to get the wrong readings. Okay, so torque specs call for on this motor 60 to 70 foot pounds. So, best way to start it off is to just split the difference. So, we're going to go 65. Okay, so now we're going to, as gently as you can, pop these caps off. Okay, as you can see, it left a red mark, and we are within our two thousandths 
we're not bigger, we're not smaller. <laughs> so we have the oil clearance we want. So we're gonna do 65 on this one, then we're gonna go to the next one, and we're gonna check all of these. Just because you do one doesn't mean they're you're good. You could do them all the same. No. You, you might run to this one down here, and because the nose has a balancer on it and has been ran at 8,000 RPMs, it walled that out, and you gotta tighten it down to 70 foot pounds to get that two thousands between two and three thousands clearance that you're looking for or whatever clearance that you feel is needed um, and you want to do that with all your rods too even though the machine shop sizes them up just because they do an inspect you don't know who's sitting there and if he's having a bad day or whatnot um, you just want to double check that stuff now <clears throat> to get the plastic gauge off I take like a plastic scraper and you just scrape it off don't use a razor you don't want to sit and cut into your polished crank or your brand new crank and then you can take some uh, brake clean and rub that off make sure you lube that torque it down and there you go so uh, check out the video whenever we get this thing done check out our Facebook hit the like button and subscribe and as always keep wrenching